Lord Cameron is facing mounting pressure to release £2.34 billion of funds from the sale of Chelsea FC. These funds were promised by Roman Abramovich to be used for all Ukraine war victims after the sale of the club. However, 18 months later, the money remains untouched in a frozen account due to bureaucratic complications between the government and Europe, despite the sale of the club taking place within UK jurisdiction, a unilateral declaration was signed by ministers in May, stating that the money would be spent exclusively within Ukraine. This has caused frustration and anger, as the funds could be used to support not only victims within Ukraine but also Ukrainian refugees in Europe and food programs in East Africa. Calls for the release of the funds have come from organizations such as Save the Children and former UNICEF UK Chief Executive Mike Penrose. Penrose, who has set up legal undertakings to prevent the money from falling back into Abramovich's hands, believes that Lord Cameron's return to front-bench politics could lead to a breakthrough. He hopes that Cameron's stature, understanding, and experience will enable him to see the opportunity to make Britain a leader in humanitarian aid. The government's license to proceed with the release of the funds expires on November 30, but it is expected to be extended once again. Penrose has yet to directly deal with Cameron since his appointment as foreign secretary, but a meeting will be arranged in the coming weeks. Despite the efforts of British families hosting Ukrainian refugees and organizations on the ground in Ukraine, a breakthrough has remained elusive. The difference of opinion on the purposes of the foundation has caused delays, with Abramovich's approval needed for the funds to be released. The UK has provided shelter and care to over 160,000 Ukrainian people fleeing from war, but many others are still in desperate need of humanitarian support. The release of these funds could make a huge difference, but they remain tied up in bureaucracy. Lord Cameron is urged to use his political experience to break through this bureaucracy, release the sanctioned funds, and create a humanitarian foundation that the UK can be proud of. The government maintains that the money was always meant for Ukraine, but the voices of those affected by the war continue to call for its release.